What's going on YouTube man? Your boy is so excited because this is the first official video for Points Blank Finance. You know, I did an intro video, but this is the actual first official video for the channel and I couldn't be more excited and I decided to do a video on the Robinhood app and how to buy stocks with that app because primarily on this channel I'm going to be using the Robinhood app. Now I may show you some other mo uh, brokerage accounts that I have and such as Stash or Merrill Edge or JP Morgan but primarily I'm going to be using Robinhood to make my investments to show you how easy and how inexpensive it can be to invest into your future. You know unlike a lot of other apps and websites or whatever Robinhood is so easy to use hey welcome to points blanks finance everyone my name is rod and on this channel we talk about investing we talk about saving we talk about budgeting and we talk about everything personal finance if this is something you're interested in do me a favor if you haven't already done so subscribe to the channel get a video a thumbs up and help the video get pushed out to people that may be looking for information like this share the channel with your family and friends share it on your social media platforms I can't say how excited I am about starting this new channel. And with all that being said, let's get paid, baby. Okay, let me start by saying, first and foremost, I am not a financial advisor. I am not a financial advisor. I'm going to say that twice. These videos are for informational and educational purposes only. Please do me a favor. More importantly, do yourself a favor and do any research that you feel like you need to do before making any investment. Now that we got all that out of the way, the first thing that you need to do, if you're going to be buying or selling and i'm not going to talk about selling i'm not going to focus on selling stocks because right now we're trying to build a portfolio notice the title is how to buy stocks with robin hood i didn't even talk about how to sell and i'll do a future video on that but the first thing you need to do is download the robin hood app on your smartphone if you don't have a smartphone, you can just go to their website, Robinhood.com, and you can register an account there. But I downloaded my app on my smartphone, and I'm able to use it on my iPad. I'm able to use it on my MacBook Pro, which is my laptop. I'm able to use it on my desktop, and I'm also able to use it on my smartphone i make the majority of my stock purchases on my smartphone but for this video i'm going to be sharing my screen and doing it on my laptop and showing you how easy it is to buy stocks with robin hood now if you choose to download the robin hood app to invest whether it's now or later on please check out my link down in the description below because not only will you get a free stock i also get a free stock i want to be transparent but you also could get a stock that's up to about 250 bucks but that free stock so far i think my highest stock that i've got was ten dollars but i didn't care man i funded my account with five bucks and all you have to do is fund your account with as little as five dollars it could be three dollars and once you do that you will get a free stock now one thing that i love about robin hood is that you don't have to buy full shares and what i mean when i say a full share right now let's say one share of uh google is uh close to three thousand dollars one share of microsoft is over three hundred dollars when i first started investing i had to buy full shares i couldn't buy fractional shares i found a way to do it and we'll talk about that in a future video but with robin hood you can buy fractional shares or a part of a share so when you look at these big companies and you see their stock price that is so astronomical you're like oh i can never afford that we found a way baby we found a way and we're gonna do it and over time it could be a month it could be five months it could be a year but over time you're gonna end up having a full share from just building up those fractional or those partial shares and what i want to do in this video is i'm actually going to go into my robin hood account and i'm going to purchase some fractional shares of different companies and i tell you man when you see how easy it is you and I are going to be on this journey together and you're going to be well on your way 
to setting up for your future and if you choose to start building generational wealth. All right, what I wanted to do initially was transfer the money, but I did that and some for some reason the mic wasn't recording. So I've already transferred the money that I need to have in Robinhood. Now, as you can see, and I wanted to kind of do this with a smaller account. I do have several brokerage accounts that has way more money than 2,600 bucks. But as you can see, my buying power is $320.88. And what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna purchase a few fractional shares of a stock that I've been looking at, that I've been watching. I already kind of have an idea of what I wanna invest in. And I created a spreadsheet and I kind of wanna show you guys. I have a spreadsheet here and it's got all kind of stocks listed. And I'm gonna show you real quick. If you look here, these are all the stocks that I have in my Robinhood account. There are a lot of them. And again, I've only had this account maybe four or five months, if that, I wanna say three or four months. But I'm not about to invest in all of these. But what I do wanna do in this video is I wanna show average, everyday people how to invest and i'm not going to invest any more than 20 dollars in the stocks that i'm going to purchase today and the first one on the list is going to be apple i mean we've all heard of apple we all know about apple i'm going to go ahead and pull that up again i do have 320 dollars that i can invest the current price is 154 dollars and 99 cents with this account i am up on a total return of seven dollars 79 cents or 7.55 percent and, but what I want to do is show you that I'm going to have to move quickly because I have seven minutes and I really don't have to. I mean, some of these may be purchased while the market is open right now. It is currently through uh, 2.53 p.m. Central Standard Time. The market does close at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ. But I have two choices. I can either invest in a full share, but remember, if you look right here, we are investing in dollars because we're buying fractional shares now if you choose to buy a full share that's on you but when i go to robin hood and been doing this so i already know i want to put twenty dollars twenty dollars into apple again i my other brokerages i may buy a full share i may buy six shares at one given time but the purpose of this channel is to show to start off by showing everyday people until we all all is you guys and myself build our portfolio up and then we maybe start making full share purchases but as of right now we're going to do fractional shares so 20 bucks the estimated amount of shares that i'm going to get is 0.129 Oh, four. And if I, the longer I sit here and wait, if you keep watching this, as this price go up and down, this number is going to keep changing. So I want to go ahead quickly review my order. I'm investing $20, 1.29023. And all I have to do is click buy. And man, I didn't know I had to do all this because I guess it logged me out real quick. Uh, and it's done. It is done. I purchased, I, my amount invested is $20. I purchased a 0 0.129.011 at a price of 155.03. It went up while I was having to log in and click done. And I am done with that purchase. Now, all I do is go back over here and click the little Robin Hood leaf. And I go to the next stock that I want to purchase. So I'm going to go ahead and put a, a check mark by that. Now, typically when I'm invested, I don't have this piece of paper. I, I, I may have it up on a separate computer. Uh, I have a huge monitor behind, uh, in front of me right now that's behind the camera you guys can't see. Or if I'm in my office or if I'm at work or if I'm on my phone, I already know what I When I'm making this many purchases, I won't do it on my phone. I will do it sitting down somewhere so I can go through. Now the next uh, stock that I wanna purchase, again, and I kinda wanna hurry up because I have four minutes, four minutes until the market closes. And I'm gonna go ahead, cause it's right here, I'm gonna do Microsoft. Microsoft is trading at $299.85. I am up $1.46. Again, I haven't had this account long, and you saw the stocks I've been buying. I'm up 3.41, but I gotta set the dollars. I'm gonna go ahead and do another $20. Uh, I'm gonna get 0 0.06. I'm not gonna read all those other numbers. I'm gonna get 0 0.06 shares review order and i'm going to go ahead and buy it right now and it's done 
I bought point zero six, and it's it's telling me uh, once I click done, you're gonna see my buying power is now two hundred eighty dollars and eighty eight cent. I love Robinhood because as I'm making these purchases, it's immediately calculating what my buying power, or how much do I have left to invest. Let me go ahead and uh, click Microsoft off, and then the next one I want to do. I got to go back and click the little leaf here. If I can find it quick enough, is I want to go ahead and purchase some Google before the market closes today. And luckily, Google is right there. It's trading at 2,882, 872. Look how quick it's moving. I don't have time to be over there. Uh, I've made $11.71, 9.56% in a couple of months. I'm going to go ahead and do $20 real quick again. I'm getting 0 0.006. These are huge stocks, so I'm not getting that much. My buying power will tell me right here. I'm going to go ahead and buy it. It's going to say done. I purchased that before the market closed today, and I'm going to check that off my list. And then I'm going to jump down here, and I'm going to move a little quicker because I have two minutes, two minutes, two minutes before the market closes. But I'm going to keep buying. I'm going to keep purchasing the stock. Even after the market closed, I just know it's some moves I wanted to make today. And one was Bank of America, uh, ticker symbol BAC. As we go into this journey, you're gonna hear me say symbols. I'm probably not gonna say Bank of America, I'm gonna say BAC. I know I wanna put $10 in here because the share price is $40 and, oh man, I'm tripping. <laughs> 10, the, the share price is $40.77. So I'm gonna at least get a quarter of a share, point two four five review order, go ahead and buy. Bam, it's going to be done in a second. I'm done. And right now I have still two minutes. Two minutes left, baby. Two minutes left. And I need to click this here because now I want to buy a little Chase stock. And again, these are ones I wanted to get before. And JPM, JPM, JP Morgan is the symbol. And I'm going to do a video on a mistake that I made that made me a lot of money. <coughs> Excuse me, with Chase by making a mistake. When I buy these $10, I'm getting 0.06. I'm going to review the order. Buy now. Bam. It's that quick. It's that easy. So I can go ahead and check those two. And I'm going to look at one that I really want to get. I got one minute, y'all. One minute. And after that, I'm going to slow down. <clears throat> but I really want to make these uh, purchases. I could go another route and not have to uh, scroll down. I got one minute before the stock market closes and i do want to get some facebook i want to buy 20 bucks of facebook it's trading at two, uh 377 i'll go over there when i'm done uh, i'm getting 0 0.05 of a share buy and bam i beat the clock ladies and gentlemen i beat the clock so I, and it's right and i beat it by seconds so with facebook it's still gonna move and if you notice here it's going to be a thing that says after hours. I'm trying to find a way to show you. After hours, it's, the market sometimes is still going. But my value of Facebook is $52. <clears throat> and this is what I want to explain to everybody. Even though the share price is $377, I only have $52 showing right here that's invested in Facebook. But I'm not worried about that. I currently have a total of 0 0.13 shares. Uh, it's 2.16% of my entire portfolio. One of the goals that I have is I want to get every stock up to 50 shares. And I'm going to go ahead and mark that off my list. And then I'm going to make a couple more purchases. And then I'm going to conclude this video. But I do want to make a couple more purchases, even though the market has closed. Just to show you. And then now I can slow down because the market's closed. I can slow down and show you how easy it is. So... I did want to make those purchases. And sometimes you will get caught up. And, man, hey, I'm running out of time. It took me a while to get this. The next symbol. And notice, if you look here, and this is why I recommend people learn the symbols. Because right now, it's not telling you. Some of them are easy to figure out. MSFT is Microsoft. BRK is Berkshire Hathaway. VYM is an ETF. I won't even get into that. BAC, you would think it would be BOA because that is Bank of America, but it's Bank of America Corporation. JPM is Chase Bank. I got a video that's going to blow y'all mind about that. AXP is American Express. KO, what, where is there a K in Coca-Cola? There is no K, but they're similar as KOT 
is AT&T. FB is Facebook. That's pretty easy. So I really want to um, encourage people to learn these symbols because these symbols, when I learned, I had to look at a newspaper and it, 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 it this was in the 90s. There was well, early, early, early 90s, late 80s. There was no Google. There was no Internet. So I had to buy a newspaper every day whenever I wanted to look at the stocks. And I subscribed to newspapers and I subscribed to the Wall Street Journal. And I had to learn these symbols. And I pretty much have them memorized. And I'm looking here, uh, Coke. Coke was the next one I was going to buy. So I'm going to go to Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is currently trading at $56.42. The market is still moving around a little bit. I currently have a total of $45 invested in Coke. I'm very close to having a full share. Um, if I look right here, I have point zero point eight zero shares. I've made point zero seven four, but I don't buy Coke to make money. I buy Coke strictly for the dividends, and I'm going to do a separate video on that. Dividends are paid monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, or annually. And this uh, dividend, Coke is paid quarterly, but it's point five two or fifty two cent per share. So I'm going to go ahead and buy uh, ten shares. I mean ten dollars. It's going to give me 0.87. It's hurting my heart. Matter of fact, uh, no, because I don't want to miscalculate. Like right now, and this is where you'll get caught up. You you want to spend a little more money because you want to get a full share. But I've already kind of calculated and allocated the money that I want to invest during this here time period. And I am going to do another investment video in September. This is just some money I happen to come across or had sitting around. I'm going to review the order. Now. This is key. The market has closed and everybody pay attention. You're placing a good four day market order to buy $10 of Coke or KO based on the current market price of $56.42. You will receive approximately 0.17 blah, 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 blah shares. Why? Because the market's closed. They don't know what the market's going to be tomorrow when they actually go in and make my purchase. Had I done this while the market was, was still open, then I would have got whatever shares. So I'm going to go ahead and click buy. I'm not too worried about it, man. If it's off a few decimal points, that's fine. The share is purchased. We're done. And we're moving on. And I'm going to do maybe two more. And I'm going to get out of here. I want to make sure I get two good stocks that uh, people know and they be able to explain why I'm getting them. Uh, I'm going to do two here. Uh, let me see. Okay, both of these are going to be 20 twenty dollar purchases and i'm gonna look at i should just i can easily go over here let me just do this let me show y'all something different i can type in the symbol because i know them and it's clorox i can go ahead and pull it up and i have and i don't have to go through i don't have to scroll through that little um thing with a gazillion stocks if i know the symbol or you can type out the company you can type clorox but i pride myself on knowing the symbols because that's how i learned Right now, Clorox is trading at $169.75. I have only $40, man. And, and I'm, I'm doing this, and I, I'm going to do future videos where I'm going to show you guys some of my other brokerage accounts where there's um, five figures in there. It's not $2,000, and I, I can't trade fractional. I have to trade full shares. But the purpose of this channel is to show everyone how you can take a little bit of money and turn it a, a, a small fractional share excuse me into many shares so right now i have 40 dollars invested uh with clorox i have a qu almost a quarter of share 0.24 so i'm going to go ahead and put 20 dollars in here because i allocated 20 i'm going to get 0.11782 of a share i'm going to review the order it's going to tell me uh the price of Clorox may be volatile or could go up or down during extended hours due to low trading volume. So this order will be queued for market open. I don't care. Review order. Then they're telling me that it's going to be that. And then go ahead and buy. And I, I'm going to get in some of that terminology in future videos because there's so much to this. And what they're doing, they're really covering their butts, uh, as we call it in the business world, CYA. But the last one I'm going to do before I get off here is I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna buy a little bit of Disney. I was holding off. Now notice I typed D-I-S and it pops up here. I was a little hesitant about buying Disney because 
Disney World closed for a while, Disneyland, all the theme parks closed. But Disney was so smart when they came out with Disney Plus and started streaming stuff, they continued their success. And this company's been around for eons, for years. They're currently trading at $185.15. I only have $20 invested with Disney in this account. I do have Disney in other accounts. I'm up 4.86%. I don't really look at the total dollar amount. I look at the percentage because if the more money I have in there, that percentage is going to drive how much money I'm making. I'm going to go ahead and put a quick $20 over here. I'm going to get a tenth of a share of .10802. I'm going to review the order, and I'm going to click buy, and it's a done deal. Now, when I'm as I'm doing this, please keep in mind, these stocks, they won't these stocks won't be purchased today as soon as the market opened where i am in dallas 8 30 a.m central standard time 9 30 eastern standard time as soon as the market opened i'll start getting alerts on robin hood on my phone because i have my alerts turned on and it's cool because i'll see all these stock purchases and now i still have one uh two oh boy three four five six seven eight now, I still have 10 different stocks I'm going to buy, but I don't want to drag this video out. I am going to go over one more stock because I want people to start thinking about this, and that is ticker symbol O. And if you come down, notice it got OMG. I'm not looking for OMG. I know it's Realty Income. Realty Income is a, a real estate investment trust, or what they call REIT, meaning 90% of the profits they make, they have to give back to shareholders. They do give a monthly dividend right now of 0.235 or almost 24 cents. We're really, oh yeah, almost 24 cents per month per share that you own. I currently have, oh man, hold up, I hit the wrong thing there. Let me go back. I currently have $51, so I almost have a full share. I have 0 0.7119, and I'm going to go ahead and just put 10 bucks in here just for the purpose of this video. I'm going to get 0.13 of a share i'm going to review the order i'm going to buy and it's going to update that i now have point zero point eight five shares and i'm going to click done and i look at it and one thing i want to go over and then i'm going to go ahead and end this video is one year it's up 11.68 percent but five years i'm doing this for the long term it's up 7.82 but i'm not really worried about that because i'm getting dividends well, there you have it, man. Those are some of the stock purchases. Let me check that off my list. So when I go on here later tonight, when I'm not recording and finish these purchases, that that's what I've done today. And I just wanted to show you guys, hopefully I didn't go too fast. Do me a favor, put it in the comments. If I went too fast, let me go ahead and put me back on the screen. Um, if I went too fast in the video and you guys didn't get it, it's two things we can always do. You guys can pause it go back and look at it or put in the comments rob please slow down i just don't want to keep people on here forever and i can tell you right now i'm excited about this channel i'm really looking forward to it and again the whole purpose in and, and later we may get into bigger money but we don't really have to want you know we don't have to because whether you well i just invested twenty dollars could have invested two thousand in disney i could have invested two thousand in google but what i want to do is take that just like i did with points blank travel with credit i want to take the everyday average individual and show them that you don't have to have hundreds of thousands you can take twenty dollars I, I remember the day when i was making 286 dollars every two weeks when i first joined the navy that's that's what it was my take home pay 286 and i still found a way to invest so i want to do that right now even in today's world people are being laid off people are being furloughed so if we still have a way to receive some type of income we need to put something up again if you haven't already done so subscribe to the channel get a video a thumbs up share the channel with your family and friends share it on your social media platforms again the link is down in the description below if you want to download the robin hood app please use my link you'll get a free stock i'll get a free stock we're both winning baby and i as i said when i started this that i am not a financial advisor this is for informational and entertainment purposes only and 
With all that being said, shoot for the moon. If you don't make it, you'll be amongst the stars. I'll be coming at you soon, dropping even more financial knowledge. Actually, I'll be coming at you way quicker than you may think. And with all that being said, hope everybody's having a great day. I'll be seeing you soon. Peace, baby.